everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's going to be kind of interesting for us, because neither Shell or I are particularly big on the Animal Crossing series. I've never played it. And I've only played the GameCube and the Wii versions, but I only played the GameCube version when I rented it from GameStop in two different week-long segments. But at the time, it required so much memory on the memory card that I couldn't save. Uh -oh. So I would play for week-long segments and then start over. So really all I remember is just fishing and then being kind of sad because I wanted to buy the game, but my mother was like, no! So I never got to play that. And then I got to play a friend's version in college where I grew so many trees around his house you could never actually start the game because it was the version where you had, like, four players all in the same, like, save file. Each had their own house. And... You got your axe, like, maybe 10 minutes into the tutorial. But if you didn't have an axe, you couldn't get to your house, or he couldn't get to his house, because it was just so overgrown, he couldn't get in there. For me, I, I don't know if it was because I never had the system required to play it, or because I I wasn't too interested in games where you're doing harvesting and farming and a bunch of other things. I wanted that epic adventure, and cute little animals just... They just didn't cut it. But at the same time, you were just describing to me the fact that you're an, essentially an a indentured oh, servant. Oh, yeah. We're deep in debt already. Deep in debt? Yeah. Wait, f by, by spending money to go to this deserted island? Yes. Deserted island getaway package? Yes. So let me guess. You just crash land there and you're like, oh, no, I can't. No, no, I, they, I think it's very just... intentional. Really? It's the you can't leave part. You can't leave until you've. <laughs> Pay your debt and maybe and... some other stuff. I don't know. Tom Nook <laughs> is awful. <laughs> Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the checking counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Name. Are, is it trying to mimic the echo that might be in this vast room, or no? Maybe. Wait, you're calling yourself Uncle? What? We are Hunkledorp. Hunkledorp? <laughs> we don't have to be. <laughs> it just popped into my head immediately <laughs> on seeing the name entry form. It's just like, our name is Hunkledorp. But we should not be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> but maybe? You can't change your name. It can also be seen by other people. Yeah. Okay, we should probably be Wander. Ah, uh, that that sounds better. For obvious reasons. What is our birthday? Fine. In the interest of other miscellaneous dates, let's go with Pi Day. Which was actually a couple days ago. Damn it. Okay, maybe. How about April Fools? <laughs> Why April Fools? Because you get money on your birthday. At least you used to. Oh. Oh. Let's see, YouTube channel is September 5th. That's not a bad idea. We could do that. Technically, I started the channel on the 5th, but what, I'm 90% certain I put up my first video on my birthday. Let me let me double check that. Because we, we could do that as another one. So we could do either April Fool's or the channel birthday, which I'm still considering the day we put out uh, Banjo-Tooie. The American calendar put the day first. Yeah, no, we... God damn it. Day is second for us. Does it not... Does it not tell me? Oh... About your channel birthday or when your first video came out? Because the channel was created on the 5th, but that was that was before I actually put videos out. Well, the first video would be Banjo-Kazooie, wouldn't it? Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie. Yeah, I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, why don't, why don't we go with that? That's a couple of months in. Uh... Oh, no. September September 6th. So it was a little early. Yeah, you started it right after. Yeah. It's weird. It, it looks might, like... You might as well have your channel birthday. It looks like, for whatever dumb reason, I put out the first four episodes on the same day. Uh, now, why is it that Japanese games especially like to ask you your birthday and such? Well, in this one, it matters because you actually celebrate your birthday. I think in other games, it's mostly, I don't know, blood type or other insane nonsense. Okay, so... Eh, 9596. Nine, Let's do 96, mm -hmm. which is the opposite of nice. It's a bad day. <laughs> Unless you're going by European standards, at which point it's a very nice day. <laughs> I didn't even mean for that to happen. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you. Don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Okay. You're being a guy, probably. Yes, but we can change this later. Gosh. Can I just be an animal instead? Yeah, I always wondered why you couldn't be an animal. Why I want to do... be an animal child. You look a little really pink. I We're going to be on an island. <laughs> Ooh, I like that color. Oh no, that fit. Oh, oh no, no, that is so soulless. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, oh, those are really cute. Those are cute. That that's horrifying. <laughs> I like that's, it. That's horrifying too. Oh yes, that that no no not the buck teeth. That with the little little curl in the middle. Yes, cheeks. I kind, I kind of like this. <laughs> like, we look like Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> That's kind of it, honestly. I just don't like any of the other hairdos. Yeah, I don't like any of the other hairdos. This either. one, this one, honestly, is not great either. But like, let's look at a couple other eyes. Oh, but I just. Nah, not not the droopy eyes. I don't like any of the eyes that are looking off to the side. <laughs> I just look like, yeah. Uh, eh, 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 yeah. See, I just don't like the cutouts, and I, I don't, don't like the I, eyelashes either. I don't either. like the cutout or the eyelashes. No, you can go with your blank <laughs> stare. I see into the universe, and it tells me its secrets, and the secrets are, uh, sail on eggs on Tuesday. Great! You're all set! All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an I island that has the same season Seasonal pattern is your current home. Current home. So tell me, Wander, where do you live now? Live now. North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Okay. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from now then all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural so don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort you can't go wrong just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing that's how i do it i'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home new home hmm Ooh, i like the one with the circle in it this one i mean so all of them have one rivulet. Because that one just has a giant boob, which I'll pass on. <laughs> this one looks like a butt. So yeah, we'll go with this one. This one has kind of a weird appeal, but I, I like the island. 
Wonderful choice, Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Hmm. Lamp. A lamp? A lamp. Yeah, I mean, but what would you plug it's it into? It's the least useful thing. Unless it's a unless it's a lamp that you fuel with oil. It's then... the least useful thing. Lamp. Also, I've shouted lamp many a time before. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Nook Incorporated will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Incorporated Desert Deserted Island Getaway Package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make it their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together, together. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Incorporated's Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about desert deserted island life. We're gonna keep saying deserted. Deserted! <laughs> what, you thought there was greener on this island? That was your first mistake? <laughs> Who is this imposter? That is not us. Oh, a cicada. It is a bug. Eat it. The bugs look awfully realistic compared to everything else. Nook Incorporated Production. Does not look like they will be landing anytime soon. <laughs> we just like crater into the ground. I'd buy. Oh, no, they actually did. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? I thought this was deserted. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move to follow us. Who are you people? <laughs> are you my neighbors? So I can't wait to evict you. Oh, never mind. Excuse me, I want to keep this man. Follow the guidelines. Let's hustle. Ooh, I like that. Look at those peaches. Who are you? We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. She looks like a Sentai hero, maybe. I, I know, she does. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Mira here? How about Rory? And there's Wander, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, to Mr. Nook. Our three adventures are ready to get started. Oh, shoot. The problem is I want to give him, like, a very, like, yes, yes, very good. <laughs> all right, that's what we're going with. I mean, they're all of the creatures on this island seem to sound really high-pitched. Yeah, but he, this guy, this guy, we have just signed the devil's deal. Uh-huh. Let's see now. How shall I begin? 
Oh, yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. I mean, my island. <laughs> my name is Tom Nook, and I am the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. Today's the first day of your new island life, new life on this pristine, lovely island. So, congratulations to me. And this is the package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in the construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Seriously, raccoon mafia is a serious problem in this world. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rep Tommy. Here you go, Wander. Your very own tent. <laughs> Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, and select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. You want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a place that works for you. Oh, so probably, uh, I suppose I should set you up with a map, too. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Are we gonna go to the center of the island? Uh, maybe. What was the button for map? That's tent. <laughs> Build here. No. Mine. Oh, it's just... It's in the bottom right. I just have to wait for it to show up. There it is. Uh, oh, does it go? I was kind of hoping it would just stick around. Now, question is, can swim? No. Can you cross the water anywhere? Can island? Uh-oh. We might be able to move it later. You won't be able to build on the glorious island? Is there no, no log bridge anywhere? Maybe you can walk across here. Nope. Oh, I really wanted to have a fortress on a little island. Maybe we can... We really do look like the weirdest owl. <laughs> Man, look at that butt tree. It, those are peaches. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> well, do we want to have it right here? Why would you want your tent there? Yeah, it's the closest we got to an island. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, I... Oh, oh, because we... We can't go to anywhere else on the island. I really liked the higher elevation, but the higher elevation is blocked off. We, we chose the wrong map. We thought that all these rivers would... I didn't know this was... I'm pretty sure we can move it. Too close to the water, need more room. Yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to build there. That seems reasonable. Really? With a tree in the way? Let's imagine it. Otherwise, it could be just on the beach. No, nah, we don't want it on the beach. That's not a good idea. Well, I think we can move it. So, I don't think we should think too hard. Hmm. I mean... I suppose it was a cute spot up there, just because it is a little round in the bend. Would you say it's a little nook? It's a little nook. Now it's a little far forward. I kind of wish they actually gave you like a placement tool. Yeah, because the fact that you're just standing in in a space. Uh, I wish we could also, like, crazy man swim the river. Yeah, I know definitely. there's a pole for pole vaulting. I think this is good. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Now... Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. 
Hello, weirdest owl reporting. Ah, Wanda, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, huh? Well, you're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for the just the right location. How much you want to bet that they cho choose locations that are across the river? <laughs> one of them is just stuck on the island. Help! Help! You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes! Uh... Oh, so maybe we find them and tell them where to put their house. Yo, I'm Rory. You're Wanda, right? Nice to meet you. Cap Wait, Capital. Capital? You've already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this plot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Wanda? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. You think so? Awesome. Okay, then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I pu put my tent here... Pretty cool, huh? Sure. All right, looks like we have a winner. I'm going to put down stakes right here and never look back. Capital. There we go. I just couldn't tell if he was, like, kind of Spanish or... I just know he has a dumb mustache. <laughs> that was a tough decision. What? Well, the thing is, if he's roaring, he's doing capital. Capital is something well, he, that you But he didn't British. start capitaling. All I knew is he had a dumb mustache and he was kind of fancy. Like, kind of posh, but I don't know if it was, like... Uh, conquistador style? Yeah, or... suave conquistador or suave British. And I've got kind of, I don't know. Anyway, that was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. I wonder what, what that, uh, how that mirror is doing. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so maybe you should go and see if she needs help. Mira. This is a dumb place. <laughs> you are, wait! I got it, don't tell me! You're Wander, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Mira. I gotta tell ya, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Cottontail. You already found some a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble, cause every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now, this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> but look, the guy's looming in the distance. That's okay, Tom Nook watches over all. A real cottontail? Well, if you're sure. Actually, uh, let's think about this a bit. If I put my tent here... Looks nice, don't it? Nice view of the butt tree. <laughs> awesome. From now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's going to be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, Cottontail. Hold up, does this mean that you helped Rory with his tent too? Whoa, you're seriously an awesome person. I gotta be honest, when we first got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. Well, I don't know if we get to live here with someone like you. I can totally rest easy. I'm not sure if I blink. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us, so let's go back to the plaza, Cottontail. Am I capable of blinking? Do I have a soul? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right s spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started. Yes, since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Mira, Tommy, and Rory can set up the things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Wander and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Wander, would you come see me for a moment? 
I want to talk about your crippling debt. <laughs> Ah, Wander. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches and about $10,000 to do the trick. You can find them scattered around the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing on the trees. I suspect they're real butts! <laughs> I have no idea what I'm... You just I'm picked just, up. I'm just grabbing things. I checked my inventory. Okay. So clumps of weeds. Yum. I was kind of hoping I could just grab the butterfly. These are nicely modeled trees. Yeah. The, uh, All the individual leaves on them. These games have kind of come a long way. Uh, the original one on the GameCube was actually supposed to be an N64 game. Uh -huh. But I think it either took them too long or just wasn't going to fit on an N64 cart. Mm -hmm. So they just made it look slightly nicer and chucked it on the, um, uh, chucked it no, on the GameCube instead. No, is that a dig spot instead. across the way? Yeah, because it is. Because it's, it has that appearance to it. Yep. I also like to call them loot sphincters because there's usually something cool in there. Wonder! <laughs> I keep seeing butts in the trees! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Terrible. My brain is infected with arses. <laughs> All right. How many? How many logs do you have? Sufficient. With you? Branches. There you go. Oh, good, good. Looks like you've managed to collect up tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only needed ten, but I'm sure you'll find good use for the rest. I'll take what. We need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. <laughs> but if he's the CEO of this co company, then why is he here? I mean, we're the this product. Like, yeah, this is the start of a some kind of bizarre experiment. Uh, you know, you know when. There's the opening to a movie where a bunch of people are gathered for some special trial and such, and then the CEO comes forward. He's like, "Yes." Yeah, well, no, I mean, effectively, he just uses uh, villagers like us to effectively turn Trashvilles into utopias at uh, no personal cost because we straight up owe him boatloads of money and continuously just make him more money while doing so. Like, all these other animal people that come to live here, they pay, like, out the nose to live on the island that we, like, perfectly handcraft for him. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, he, he just likes the hand-on effect of really making sure that his peons, I, uh, indentured servants, uh, citizens, <laughs> uh, stay in line. And speaking of uh, surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like butts. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine asses. So, will you collect six of them for me? Wonder, this is a kid's game. What are you, or what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop. <laughs> This voice, it just needs, <laughs> it needs to be a bit, a bit raunchy. Now, I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case, when you see a tree growing peaches, you can just press A to shake it and pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of peaches for us, it, all in no time. I find it interesting that they say, we're going to have this synced with season, and then they give us peaches, which should probably only be harvestable later in the year. Oh. I don't get it. Are there spring peaches? No. Usually things have to pollinate over the summer. Is this spring? This seems more like a summer thing to me. Well, I'm saying that our current oh. time of year hmm. is just spring. It just... Cusped into spring. That's an interesting question. Whereas this is just giving me a very, yeah, summer autumn air. 
Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those peaches off your hands and get started on the preparations. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Ah, yes, cleansing fire. <laughs> At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge, and by we, I mean you. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance on your end, we'll shape this deserted island into an absolute cash cow. I mean, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But we, what should we call it? I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. Oh, no. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? Take a little time to think. When everyone's ready, I'll present your ideas. Glutania! I see the bots have infected your brain, too. <laughs> all right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready, go! Glutania! Wasn't the person on the right say bicep something or Yeah. Other? Buttsburg would have been good. Yeah, but I, I did... I did. It has to be butt related, but I think glutania works well. Well, because glu gluteus maximus. Yeah, glutania max. Um, um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, glutania works. Glutania of many varieties. What splendid variety! Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting, I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Wander seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Wander suggested Glutania. Yeah, clap, 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 clap. Oh wait, no, you don't need to clap for yourself. Okay. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you claps. Tommy, we need to talk about your clapping skills. Just patting, <laughs> patting your chest doesn't count. You use both hands. Oh God, you're hopeless. Anyway, I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Glutania. Splendid! Then from now on, this island will be known as Glutania. Well, Wander, since you've proven yourself by naming Glutania, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on the island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Glutania. And thus you have all the responsibility and I don't have to do jack. Wander, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two. Huh. So, we settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. This'll cost you. Is that sand? Oh god. Why did you prep sand? Tommy, what are you doing? Oh well, everyone have a beverage in hand. Oh god, I'm gonna regret this. It's fresh juice made from sand. <laughs> Our new resident yes. representative harvested on this very island. <laughs> then, without further ado, a toast to Glutania and the happiness of its residents. Seriously, there's texture in there that looks exactly like sand. Well, maybe, maybe they're having their peach juice pulpy. It's butt juice. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. no. Oh no, that came out bad. No. Oh no. <laughs> ah. ah, regrets. <laughs> Cheers! This is too <laughs> terrible! <laughs> terrible! <laughs> <laughs> <Just> <laughs> 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 
Canadian juice. <laughs> it tastes like regret. <laughs> the Arcapella butt. Well, I'll have plenty of, <laughs> plenty of glucose in it, too. Having fun, I'm going to kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Capital. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes me feel like we've been best buds for ages, Cottontail. So she's actually supposed to be like a superstar guitarist kind of person. Oh, interesting. Like a rock star. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Ah, oh, before you do that, though, there's something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. It's our bill. Mm -hmm. You handled your tasks perfectly. We got a nice campfire going. Ah, Wander, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Not tired yet. Of course, you work hard and play hard, hmm? By all means, carry on. Just stop by me and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. It's a bill. Okay, so we have to do the nap. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that may be useful, like a bill, your debt itemized, <laughs> and several more things that'll cost you money. A mini fridge stocked with things that you will pay for, and so on. You open packages and use things inside. Press A. And when you're ready, you can move L, or left stick, to crawl into bed. We got another big day ahead of us tomorrow. By us, I mean you. So rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me now, sweet dreams, Wander. I will dream of your money in my pocket, where it belongs, <laughs> like all money. Yours, Oster Rooms. Wow, rooms, I didn't realize that the everyone. world would curl. Like this? Oh, I it's kind of neat. I know a number of people are kind of complaining about it, but it's a neat it's a neat little system. Is the currency of uh <laughs> Glutania TP. Oh boy, that is weirdly weirdly relevant. What would TP be? Lamp Uh toilet paper. Oh. Oh, I have my TV volume on. That's what I've been hearing this whole time. <laughs> You're getting sleepy. Wham! That island looks like a little buoy. Yep. So, looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own, and Nook's dead. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, I take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. He looks like a dog though, not a cat. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll take this island a island life a whole lot more. You share it with some friends. That's your scene. Yeah. Island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync in real time. Take that island life? I'll catch you later.
So is this a game where if you neglect everything, it yes, goes bad? Yes, it goes bad. Then why would you ever want to play this? I... Unless you're playing it for, for all eternity. I just don't know. So that's one of the issues that I do actually have with these games. That I really wish it wasn't real time and whatnot. Because you come back and you're like... Your whole town is covered in weeds and like your neighbors will have moved away. And they kind of guilt you being like, where have you been? Everything went to hell without you. And you're like, ah. Uh, uh. I would just rather have it that time progresses Yeah. when you log back in. I, huh. Or maybe it progresses up to a certain point or like a couple other things. I don't know. There's no easy way to do it within like the grounds of what they're trying to do it makes sense it's just the kind of thing that makes you play it super obsessively it just means that once we're done with this we're done with it yeah so if we stop we are stopping out of guilt wander are you in there oh i hope you i haven't woken you too abruptly ah uh, but i do wish to discuss something with you yes yes i'll be here when you're ready All right, well, time to go play Doom. <laughs> Wait, does this mean that we... There's no end condition? Nope. There's no beating Animal Crossing. There's no beating Animal... Wait, the... the... How will we know when to stop? We're stuck here. Forever. I hope you're having fun. <laughs>